So today we're going to be talking about gaming computers and is it worth it to build a gaming computer and how do I start and you know all those questions that the people who want to get into gaming PCs have but they don't really know like the answers to. So the very first thing I want to tell you guys is pretty much anybody can assemble a gaming computer. You don't have to be a computer engineer, you don't have to go to university. Of course if you do actually successfully build a computer and you tell somebody about it, they're gonna be like, holy fuck, you know how to build a computer, that's insane. But in reality, it's pretty easy and those people don't really know how easy it really is. Um, there is some stressful things about it here and there, but honestly, the very first thing you wanna do is go to uh, pcpartsbuilder.com here. I'll link it to you guys in the video. And you can just assemble each, uh, each individual part and then the parts are all reviewed so you'll know exactly what parts to buy. Um, I'll link in the description a few basic builds below and you can kind of customize those builds and, and tailor it to what you would want it to be. And from that point you just can build, you can just buy all the parts um, individually from individual merchants because the website will give you the best prices uh, from each website. Or you can just do what I did and just buy it through Amazon.com and all those parts will be shipped to you directly and it'll probably be like 30 to $40 more expensive to do it that way but that's the way I did it. so. Um, and then, then all the parts will come and then you'll have to assemble the computer and That's the kind of stressful part because it's like well, I've never built a fucking computer So how am I gonna put it together? I don't know what I'm doing like you expect me to build this thing and I do have no knowledge or anything Well, it's that's how I was like I opened up like I know what the CPU does I know what the GPU does I know what the motherboard does But then I open up the case and I don't even know what the fuck the motherboard is or what the GPU looks like or what the CPU looks like and um, I had to learn all that I researched it it took me like a week of research and then you know watching YouTube videos I watched like three or four YouTube videos and then it all just made sense I opened up the gaming uh, tower and I knew exactly where to put every single um, piece in, in it so it was very easy the very first that's the very first thing you want to do is watch those YouTube videos I'll link some of these YouTube videos for you guys in the description as well and just watch these YouTube videos on how to assemble a computer and then, you know, slowly put your computer together. For me, it took me like about six to seven hours because I had no idea what I was doing and I was kind of like troubleshooting it and like it was all trial and error a lot of the time. And eventually I got it to turn on and everything was working and the CPU temperature was good and the water cooler was working and everything was working. And I did have an audio issue. I didn't connect the, uh, the audio cables into the, the motherboard correctly but I ended up fixing that and you know it was good the gaming computer runs it works very well and I have no issues with it so um, if I can do it anybody can do it it's very easy so the next question is is it worth it how much should I be spending and is PC really the master race platform well I'm just gonna say right now I'm gonna be honest with you guys um, I do not believe a gaming computer is worth two thousand dollars I really don't believe that. I mean, unless you have the money and, and you're, you're rich as fuck and you got, you got your bank account's got like $10,000 and all that. Yeah, sure, go build uh, a gaming computer if that's what you want. But in my opinion, the most you should really be spending on your first uh, system is maybe like at most $1,500, $1,200, somewhere around that range. And even, even less in some cases, just buy the mid-ranged parts unless you want a game in 4k at 60 fps just just get the mid-range stuff especially now with the gtx 1070 out and you have an, the um amd i don't know the direct name of the graphics card but i'll link it in the video as well um it's a very good uh budget budget graphics card that will give you pretty good performance so you have all these next generation of graphics card options and available to you and you should be able to put together a computer for around you know 1200 to 1400 dollars and successfully play a lot of games at like even 1080p 60 fps um that's that's what i shoot for is 1080p 60 fps and i usually get that with my current build right now i'll also link my build in the description i probably should have waited for the gtx 1070 but i just didn't really give a shit at that point because um to me money isn't really a problem a lot of the time but um you know i have the luxury of saying that most people don't have the luxury of saying that so you really gotta watch how you spend your money and uh and all of that so yeah so um is it worth it yeah it's it's worth it if you have the money but you know put put together uh your first computer should be you know relatively cheap put it put it together and you can upgrade the parts later on as time goes on so that's that's the main thing and then you'll always know if something's wrong with your computer how to fix it and what to do basically if you need to upgrade a component or anything like that as for the games, well, in a lot of cases, just buying a $200 to $300 gaming console is the better option. But if you want to play a lot of multi-plats in 60 FPS 
and you want to access to some of the PC exclusives and you want to play those games and you know high frame rate high resolution then yeah you're gonna have to get a gaming computer to do it especially with MMORPGs like World of Warcraft and Star Wars The Old Republic and all these MMOs they usually run on you know mild system requirements but um, if you want to have access to those games obviously you need to get a gaming computer or some kind of computer um, yeah so that's that, that's basically what you have to do in order to really get into uh, building a gaming computer and trust me you guys can do it like anybody can do it just watch the YouTube videos that's all you have to really do and assemble the parts and you'll it, you'll see it's very easy especially with this website it's all laid out for you and uh, then you just buy the computer and yeah it'll ship to your house so you just assemble it put it together trial and error if things don't work and eventually it'll work and then you'll know exactly what to do and you'll gain knowledge from doing so and that's the main thing is you'll know how to build a computer from now on and um, it's, it's 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 a fun process um, and it's, it's it's really accomplishing as well because you'll feel accomplished after you build it and then you know down the line if you ever want to upgrade components you'll always have that um, available to you without having to go to like Best Buy and get somebody to do it for you so yeah so PC gaming is a master race um, in my opinion in a lot of ways it is because you're playing games in their native resolutions at you know high frame rates and when you start playing games in 60 FPS you kind of get spoiled by that and then you go down to console and those games have like 30 FPS for the most part and the load times on consoles are like long as fuck um, which is another thing about PC gaming make sure you get uh, solid state drive and SSD maybe like a 250 gigabyte SSD and then after the SSD make sure you get maybe like a one terabyte just hard drive um, in general just an HDD drive um, and then you'll have uh, you'll be able to throw your operating system onto your solid state drive and then you'll have really fast boot times and games will load a lot faster so there's that as well so make sure you guys do that you definitely want to start jumping onto those uh, solid state drives um, it's the future and if you have the money just get like a one terabyte solid state drive and you'll be good to go so that's the biggest advice I can give to anybody building a gaming computer in today's age so as always guys thanks for watching the video rate comment subscribe and uh, let me know what you think